Hey everyone, let's have a look at nested directories in our components. So we're using auto components. So components are set to true in our next config, which means we don't have to use any import statements. But what if we want to use nested components? Let's have a look at the documentation. So under directory structure under components, we have nested directories. And what nested directories means is that we have a folder or a directory under our components. So imagine like in the documentation here, we have base as our folder and we have a button in here. So we can actually still call that component uh, just button. So pretty much to show you how that works, we have a product card here and we could create a folder. Um, let's call it shop, right? Because product cards normally belong to a shop. And then we can put our product card in here. So I'm just moving that inside of here. And now my product card is inside my shop. And in my products view page, I'm still using the lazy and I'm still just calling product card. So that should work exactly the same as before. And you can see I just refresh and yes, I've got my mountains. So my product of mountains is working, right? So that's kind of great, that's good. But imagine I had, I had a product card at root level as well, or in another folder because I had two shops going on at one time. So this could get, um, it could be a problem, right? So what we sh what you should do, what we recommend you do is that you write the word shop here. Um, and then in our products view page, we're going to have to write shop here because now the component name has been changed. Um, and what that does is it just makes sure that this belongs to this. It kind of like just, you know, stops you from having, from writing another component called shop product card. So it's just a little bit safer. Um, as you can see, this, this still works. My component is still here. So, okay, this is great. And you're probably saying, yeah, but what if my folder name was something a lot longer? Um, then this gets really, really long and complicated, right? So, um, what if I just wanted to do this? I mean, I just want to call it in the folder here, product card under the shop, right? And I want to refer to it here as shop product card, right? I'm using lazy. So just ignore that for the moment. That's from the lazy. So I want to name it shop product card. So can I not just do that shop product card? Cause that makes more sense to me, right? So if I do that and I go to my application and I refresh, um, it's not going to work, right? It's not working. And um, why is that not working? Um, if I inspect, it's going to say unknown custom element of lazy shop product card. Did you register the component correctly? So we obviously didn't register that component correctly because we're looking, it's looking for shop product card, but only product card exists. So we can actually fix that, right? So in our documentation, uh, we have what's called, if you just want to use the button in the base, uh, we can use the dears inside the components key. So basically here, I'm going to copy this and then I'll explain it. So we're copying and pasting is great. I love it. So we're copying it and we're going to go to our next config. Here we go. And we have components true. Okay. So I'm going to paste this down here and, and now I have two components. I'm going to have a problem. So basically what components is doing is it's saying the directory is components. That's the same as components true. So I can remove that because that's exactly the same saying directory components, components true. But I'm also adding another directory. So this is an array, right? My first one is components. And then I'm saying the path of components base. Now I called it shop. So let's call it shop. And I want to prefix it with shop. So now I'm basically saying, I want you to crawl the components shop. And I want you to prefix um, with shop. Okay, so now I have my folder shop. And I'm going to prefix my component, my product card or whatever component is in here with shop. So in my template, I can write shop, but I don't have to write it here. So now my shop product card should work. Let's have a look. And I go in here and there we go. I've got my mountains. So that's kind of really cool. And you can play around that with that even more and you can actually uh, put more than one. So you could, you know, have another one for, for example, for your booking, 
imagine you had a booking folder, you were taking bookings and you can play around with this and it doesn't have to be the same. It could be uh, hotel bookings. You can name it whatever you want, right? So you can have so much fun and you can do so much with this and it helps you to like structure everything and structure your components um, a little bit better and keeps things, you know, a little bit more organized. And you can do that with the auto components with nesting directories. So uh, yeah, have fun, organize your code a little bit better and uh, keep playing around with Nuxt and Nuxt components.